Hello, I'm Rama Bombi, and today I'm going to be talking about cool features in Cubase's Mixer. But not the coolest features, only the features where there's a huge disparity between how cool it is and how much it gets talked about. So, let's get on with it, from 1 to 10. Number 1. Mix Consoles. Cubase has four mix consoles. They each can show different tracks using different settings, or you can use the link function so that one console overflows into another. Very cool feature. You can access this via the studio menu. Number two. Meter bridge. The meter bridge function is just a bunch of big meters. So when you need to find out where that one weird sound is coming from, or you just want to set your input levels, it's there for you. Number three. Q-Link. Cubase only links controls when the Q-Link parameter is on. And then anything you touch will be linked and moved together. And I mean anything, like maybe a channel strip plugin. And we can add that to five tracks at once. And then when we move one parameter, all of the parameters moved on the selected tracks for the plugin in that specific slot. This feature is so incredibly useful. I, I just love it. Number four. Visibility. Cubase's visibility agent allows you to shift click to exclusively view something, or command or control click to visibility mute something, or you can show channels with data, show channels with data at the cursor position, or show channels with data between the locators. Or if you just don't like that, you can click and drag and whatever your mouse goes over is toggled. Neato channel filter. Cubase also allows you to filter output channels, rewire channels, VCA faders, FX channels, group channels, MIDI channels, sampler channels, instrument channels, audio channels, and input channels. Zones. The zones feature allows you to pin things to the left side or optionally to the right side of the mixer so that no matter where you scroll, those pin things are always visible. All visibility settings can be saved and recalled. So here I have a drum set up with my auxes on the left and my master on the right. And I can go back to another thing showing all my tracks, but this time my groups are on the left and my auxes and master are on the right. You can also use the key commands window to assign a keyboard shortcut to the visibility configuration commands. I strongly recommend doing that. Number seven. Keyboard shortcut. Cubase allows you to use your right hand to control the mouse and your left hand to control the mixer, using key commands to control the pan or volume of your tracks. Unfortunately, these aren't assigned by default and the ones that are assigned by default are assigned very poorly, so reassign them. Number eight. Bypass. Cubase allows you to bypass every single insert, EQ, channel strip, and every single send with the press of a button. How cool is that? Number nine. Sidechain. Cubase's sidechain setup is a work of art. Click add sidechain setup. Oh, you can search. That's already amazing. Then you can set the send level. You can set it to pre or post. And you can jump straight to the sending sources channel settings window and that channel settings window is pretty amazing in itself. You can also easily set up multiple side chains. Isn't that search function amazing? And you don't have to worry about finding things because you can jump straight from your destination to your source. Number 10. Channel settings. The channel setting window lets you go to the last edited track, the next edited track, up a channel, down a channel, or you can search because searching is absolutely awesome when you have a large project. Then you can see all of your inserts, your channel strips in a small window, your channel strips in a big window, your equalizer, all of your sends, and the panning for your sends, and your cue sends to send out to your performers. Plus you have all your normal channel strip functions right there. You can check the sources that go to a group, where a track outputs to, you can see all the things that it outputs to directly in your channel settings window, and you have all sorts of track presets. It's amazing. 
Thank you for watching, and please check out the text-based article that has a little bit more information on AdmiralBumblebee.com. You can also check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash AdmiralBumblebee, because these videos and these articles take a long time to make, and I have absolutely no ads anywhere at all, because I hate ads, I don't want to see them, so you shouldn't have to see them either. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time. How cool it is, and how much it gets talked about. Hello, I'm Admiral Bumblebee, and today I'm going to be talking about cool mixers, about cool features in Steinberg's. Hello, I'm Admiral Bumblebee. But just not.